Hi, and welcome to this special storyteller event with Talib Peshkapa. My name is Chelsea Simon, and I am the lead pastor of The Table. We're so glad you're with us this evening. Many of you know Talib as The Table's talented musician, who has a unique way of making all music sacred and meaningful. Over the last few months, I have learned so much from Talib about faith, compassion, and God. Talib's story has inspired me, and I'm sure it will inspire you this evening. Over the next hour, we will hear from Talib and some special guests as he tells us his story through music, including some original pieces. So for now, sit back and relax to a beautiful night of music. One. Welcome to Storytellers Concert, and uh, we're just so happy to have this show. It's live. You're going to hear the whole family throughout the night, and uh, we'll get special guests as we go. Um, that song was called At This Table, which had Phil Glenn on violin, Julia Wood on cello, uh, Marisa Peshkapia, she's my sister, on clarinet, and uh, this is my wife, Crystal. She sang as well. She's going to be guiding us through the night. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about this next song? It's just basically a, a, a song of peace and hopefully uh, the perspective of I, I truly believe we can all, we can be kind to each other and we can love even the loveless or the people that want, you know, to be our enemy for whatever reason that is. Right, people you're at odds with. That's kind of like your... Um I don't know, life theme, I guess, so. Yeah, no, this one and just being able to, to, to be a love, a lover, a kind person. And uh, I, I wanna be an instrument of peace. That's basically where this song goes, is okay. how, do we, how do we achieve that? I think it's by doing radical love and, and being kind um, to the, the person, like I said, the, the enemy, I guess. And I even don't like that word. No, I kinda wanna be friends with everybody. <laughs> I love being friendly.
So this song, I think this song is so sweet. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? It's written in the t- this time of the pandemic where a lot of stress has come upon a lot of all of us. And, you know, we have Ezra, our son, right. our boy, and we have Amelia, our daughter. But Ezra's at the age where he's very aware. Yeah. And so he's feeling it. He's feeling it. And I wrote this for him, but I also wrote it for my younger self, my now myself now even, right. but that sort of place of being, I wish I had, you know, I did. I had my mom and dad. They were very right. sweet to me, but I had you know, a hard time in, in school being bullied that like, I, I think to have a person say it's gonna be all right just means so much. And that's what this song is. It's about um, saying it's gonna be all right. <laughs> it will be all right, Amelia. It's gonna be all right. Hey, broken heart, it's gonna be all right. I could see the morning light shine down. Hey, broken soul, I can see the sun It's gonna shine on everyone, shine bright for us It's alright to feel sad, honey, sometimes I feel sad too Then I think about you This song which has a little bit of history in your life sure these are the days that I was really into uh, you know the punk rock ska movement and so even out of sort of out of uh, the 80s 90s I grew up in that time where we had like mighty mighty boss tones or you know five iron frenzy was like sort of the other alternative rock ska bands but I, I definitely like had a, a ska band called the briefcases and Ben camp was in it we had uh, Phil Glenn, who's a part of our show tonight. He's just such a, a sweet, cool... I've known him okay. my whole life, basically. Many years, yeah. yeah. And so, uh, just a great player. And so, this is sort of like that time. So, The Police, which was either really more 80s and Elvis Costello in that time, 80s to 90s. But I like those expressions of of um, kindness is punk rock. Love, joy, peace is punk rock. It's ant- It kind of can be the antithesis of people thinking that might is power or that strength is power it's like well no being sweet is is cool or what's so funny about peace love and understanding that's 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 a beautiful thing or even the police with we are our spirits in this material world it's it sort of it doesn't necessarily have the answer but it asks the questions that i like to ask and uh we'll just kick it we're live but i just i i really truly have been impacted by these kinds of bands Oh, this song is called, What's So Funny About Peace, Love, and Understanding. Not written by me, this is written by, well, it's performed by Elvis Costello. No. And Nick Lowe. As I walk through this wicked world, Searching for a light in the darkness of insanity I ask myself Is all hope lost? Is there only pain and hatred and misery? And each time I feel like this inside There's one thing I want 
What's so funny about peace, love, and understanding? I walk on through troubled times My spirit gets so downhearted sometimes So where is the strong and who are the trusted And where is the home There is no political solution To our troubled evolution There is no crazy revolution We are spirits in the material world, our spirits in the material world, our spirits in the material world, our spirits in the material, our so called With words they try to jail you Oh, they subjugate the meek But it's the rhetoric of failure We are spirits in the material world, our spirits. In the material world, our spirits. In the material world, our spirits. In the material Where does the answer lie? Living from day to day If it's something we cannot buy There must be another way We are spirits in the material world Our spirits in the material world Our spirits in the material world Our spirits in the material world
So can you tell me a little bit about this song? Sure. Uh, this one, I got an opportunity to uh, partner with Ched uh, on a Sunday out in the, at the, the loft, actually. Ched Myers had this wonderful interpretation of uh, the story in the Bible called The Widow and Her Last Might. And the story goes that this widow gave her final coin and uh, usually it's used as this for, for you know, to the, the goodness of the church. And so uh, usually it's used as like, oh, we're giving everything. It's all that we've got. But I like what Ched said, which was actually it's a, a system that's oppressing her. And so that's what the genesis of this song was sort of. Um, it's an interesting take. Yeah, flip. it's a flip on what you, you believe it's going to be. And so that's what this song is about. It's about um, not just the widow, but the immigrant. It's about how, how do we help the oppressed or help those that we forget about on the side. And we should be always looking out for everyone and being kind. There's a widow in this room And she's giving all she has And she reaches in her pocket With the last coin in her hand There's a widow in this room And the widow in this room She is working many hours And she holds three jobs and tends to Her children when she's tired There's a widow in this room on the ground we give we give we give but not for her there's an immigrant on the move and she's traveling to this land and she reaches down to take her two children by the hand there's an immigrant on the move we are the hatred holding her down. We are the reason she won't be around. We give, we give, we give, but not for her. But our robes are beautiful. While we devour the weak, our robes are beautiful. While we devour the widow, our robes are while we devour the immigrant, our robes are beautiful. While we devour the humble, our robes are beautiful. While we devour the minority, our robes are beautiful. And we devour the poor, our robes are beautiful. And we devour the meek, our robes are Oh Lord, forgive us please And may we be more aware Of the widow in this room For our next song, I'd like to invite my mother, Yolanda Peshkapia, and also Sarah Amos on piano. Uh, we're gonna do It Is Well. But I wanted to invite my mom to talk about, uh, well, the story behind why this means a lot to me, because it, our story, uh, we grew up, obviously I grew up in this house, and I wanted my mom to share a little bit about it. And also I just wanted to thank you, mom, for all the faith you've given me. I think that's that's been a big thing for us. You know what dad and I always say, in spite of us, you guys turned out pretty well. Oh, okay. <laughs> when, people, when people compliment, we say, in spite of us, they have turned out very well. Well, thank you. I mean, that's because of you. That's because oh. of you and dad. Oh. When you told me about this song, it did remind me of, uh, of uh, a devastating place in, in our lives, all of us, it, it was devastating. Last night I was thinking about words that devastate, and we've been watching um, Christmas movies, and this one particular move, Christmas movie, the theme throughout, it, three times this happened, a person was approached by their loved one they're, that they were married to, and they said to them, I don't want to be married anymore, 
I'm done and I'm out. And those are devastating words during Christmas. Other devastating words are like, um, we can't do anything else for you. We've done everything that we can, but we can't do anything else for you. And that's devastating words. And recently, I thought about these words, gather all your things. The fire is coming. You need to get out of your house. And those are devastating mm-hmm. words. And the devast- one evening in the middle of the night, practically, or it was late in the evening, mm-hmm. um, I got a phone call and it was from my dad. He said, please come over quickly. Uh, Michael has died by suicide and I gathered you all up we ran down there to um, see my mom and be there and get all the information and as we were leaving I began to cry really really horribly outside and we're we were saying goodbye to the family and when I came home I went to the room and I just cried and cried and you guys the you guys were outside the room because dad wasn't home at the time and I wept and that's when I learned about this song where it says when sorrow like sea billows roll because what happens when you're so devastated your stomach literally rolls from your weeping it just doesn't stop you can feel it from the bottom of your your belly to to your face and that's what happened to me. And for a long time, I told myself, I'm never going to sing this song ever because it is not well with my soul, Lord. And of course, there's stages to, to death that you go through. But I finally came to the point where I could sing this song. And um, so I'm, I find it awesome that you asked me to sing. And I will try not to get too out of tone, but I'm very old. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Well, we should say um, Michael was your brother, my uncle Michael. My brother Mike. He's my younger brother who passed He's away. Younger. I miss him, miss him all the time, yeah. and say, "I wish you were here for this, or I wish you were here. I'm glad you're not here for this, whatever it is." <laughs> there are a few things he's missed. <laughs> yeah, he has missed. <laughs> That's a good thing, though. He's dancing, yeah. and we're fretting <laughs> over here. <laughs> I love him. Oh, can I do a do a scripture yeah, real quick? Sure, sure. I um I this this one was also I could never sing this song. I'm trading my sorrows. Never. I was never gonna sing it. In fact, I didn't go back to church for a while. You yeah. guys went to church. I said I'm not going back there. Probably I probably said whatever until I heal. Yeah. But and finally, uh, my daughter said, "Mom, you missed a good sermon." So I decided to go back. And you probably don't remember it, but I wept through the whole service. And mm-hmm. Tina and Marisa sat next to me and held me, but I did go back to church. But anyway, this is the scripture, Second Corinthians four. We are hard pre- oh four eight. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus Christ, for that. The life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. And going down to 16, it says, Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away. I can vouch for that. Yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day, for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far awaits them all. So fix your eyes not on what is seen, but what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal.
I know that fear will dissipate I know there is a peace I know one day we will celebrate Or together we will feast And peace be to you And peace to your house And peace be to all who you I know one day we will hold each other and welcome in the peace. I know one day we will sing and hope and together we will feast. And peace be to you, and peace to your house, and peace be to all who you know, and peace. There's a table which is set In the midst of adversity There's a river of hope and love Which will wash all over those in peace And I know that there's a place of goodness Which will help us all to see And I know one day we will sing and hope Okay, this song has been around probably about as long as I am. <laughs> yeah. Um, tell me about it. Well, it was back in my my Polly Pesh days, which we've we've heard the songs from Polly Pesh this whole night. 
Uh, my name is Talit Paul Peshkapia, if you're all wondering. But uh, Polly okay. Pesh is a nickname. And I think the Polly Pesh outfit idea, the hat, if you will, is sort of this um, embodiment of, of being a person of peace, uh, inclusivity, and also sort of, you know, um, trying to, to be a help to the, the voiceless or the, the small voice, which I feel at times I have had because I've gone through different health issues my whole life and, and a lot of places have come to, to rescue me and, and I'm still going through what I'm going through, but I know, I know that there's so much good and so many good people out there. And this song's sort of a, 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 a point to, to say, there's hope out there. There's a, a peace that we know. And so I wrote it saying like, well, what about me, right? Like, cause you think about like, oh, those, are, those are great things to talk about. But then when you're sick and you're feeling really gross and hurt in, in pain, mm -hmm. you kind of wonder like, well, where's my help? Where, where am I gonna get this? Um, and, and so I actually address like politicians and pastors, it's sort of like my police, <laughs> the police way of singing Working things. Working it back in there. Working it back in, <laughs> the police's impact. No, but I mean like seriously, like, you know, it's, yeah. it's a call to action to um, people with power and saying, if you have power, you should help. That's sort of the message. It's, and, and, and of course that reflects into if I have power, when I have power in places of time, that am I using that power to help others? Am I using that power, whatever the power is, and am I using that, that ability to be a good person. That's what the song sort of the, the higher self. And um, through that time, like I said, of going through, I guess sort of like, you know, health problems, you saw, you've seen me through it. I appreciate that. And and I think that I still work closer to figuring <laughs> things out. But um, this song is for those that are in pain and, and those that are, maybe you're going through uh, health issues too. This is definitely for you. My body's weak, my mind is stronger So I do speak for only them Waiting for weeks or maybe longer For my own letter to be sent Here in my broken world I find hope Here in my starving world I stand My faith lies in this envelope Fruit of my heart in my own hand I hope this letter finds its way To heaven hands I hope this letter finds a mind That understands I hope this letter finds a heart That's stirred for truth this is all that I can do This is all that I can do My brother told me that our people Who do live just to find the cure My sister told me these same people Have hands of love and hearts so pure to soak this letter, making it dang Prayers fill the entire page My faith it lies beneath this cheap stain My note the play, your oh mind the stage I hope this letter finds its way to helping hands I hope this letter finds a mind that understands I hope this letter finds a heart that's stirred for truth Cause this is all that I can do This is all that I can do, do. Oh, I'm calling on the people of opportunities Hey, all you people who speak louder than me and all you pastors, politicians All you people who are wishing For a better world And a better world Please make it for me mm -hmm. Lord, make it for me mm -hmm. yeah. 
to soak this letter making me day Prayers fill the entire page My faith it lies beneath this cheap stain My note to play your mind the stage I hope this letter finds its way to helping hands I hope this letter finds a mind that understands I hope this letter finds a heart that's stirred for truth Cause this is all that I can do This is all that I can do This is all that I can do The night you and I met, which was wild and weird because we didn't know each other that well. Or we went, or the well, first date, obviously. Well, yeah. How, yeah. We, we don't know each other. That's the point. No, no, that's the point. But I'm saying, like, <laughs> then we go and, you know, our first date. So we didn't know each other. That was crazy. Cool. And then we go on our date and we're, like, in a hill. Oh, like, we didn't Creeps. have really cool cell phones. Yeah, I remember. Potato phones. Like... Those, you know, yeah, the yeah. jitterbug. And then. <laughs> <laughs> who you know what's going on who are you yeah. i don't know why are we in a hill all of a sudden no one's there there's stars above us and so so uh for like all of the confusing points we went on a date 13 years ago for the first time and wow. we actually drove into like some wooded secluded area and many years later we were like why did we do that? One of us could have been a murderer. Thank God no one was. <laughs> we weren't. And now we're married with two children, so. The kind of risk you take. <laughs> that's what we're talking about here. <laughs> no, yeah, and it was, and so that, that song comes from that night, but also from just the mystery of, of any of, of not being aware of the beautiful experience. You the could path not you know. Get to take. Right, you couldn't know prior to it. Mm -hmm. And yet afterwards it just made sense. Mm. And, um, and, blessed, lucky, whatever you want to call it. We we experienced that and it was really cool. One, two, one, two, three. Morning breaks with the shatter as we put it back together piece by piece. We're side, side by side. side. It's the last place the night left us. When we fell asleep in its arms And like children lost and lonely we embraced Yes, you and I And the blanket was the feeling of the beautiful sky And the night, ooh, like a mother Approved of our actions The light gleaming We were blessed with shining stars Well, I know They are in our celestial spectator Got wood of our eye of innocent love. They hovered all above us Ooh, just to see what we had done. And there was no sense of any danger, any awkwardness. For we knew that they were the body, yes, and we were the dress. They were the proprietors, we were their guests, visitors to the owner's car.
Okay, so I feel like this song's tagline is like a big deal in your life. Um, I've I've seen the themes, you know, repeated in your music in several different bands. Like it's kind of a big deal, you sure. know. Which is you know, which you know is another running theme in your life. Repetition in a good way. Um, like, please elaborate. Yeah, well, for me, you know, I was in this time of. The pandemic mm -hmm. that the whole world is going through uh there was a period of time when it felt like and still kind of does feel timeless and how this empty space of where is this going to land and there's almost like a void that seems scary yeah. where and am so, i what day is it <laughs> right so i try to flip that and i was inspired by two youtube videos right like i'm not gonna show, <laughs> you just sit and you go down the youtube rabbit hole and I saw one on a rabbi speaking about the Ecclesiastes, um, and specifically there's a, a, a the text that says, all has been before, it basically is the opening lyric of this song, all will be tomorrow. It's always like, it's not, and it's not like a predestination song. It's more right. this, you know, actually the way I, I understood it was just sort of this, um, you know, almost like it is what it is. And there's beauty in that sort of space, not like fear. And then also too, I, I applied that to love. So I used the idea that love is constant. Love was yesterday, which love is today will be love tomorrow. And there's this, the higher love, the, the greater, bigger love, that's just about like kindness and sacrifice and being good to your fellow human, just kind. That's what the song is. Love is constant. You kind of, we can sit in this beauty of love that's in, it's really for everyone. It's not just, it's not exclusive. It's it's the most inclusive thing. Love is for every single person. Yeah, the way you broke that down is just, it's so you. <laughs> That's how I think. Yeah. And so I, I, we just were going to share the song. It's new. It's called Love is Constant. One, two. All will be in all tomorrows Now is just a memory We'll make these memories I go through the door I embrace the joy and sorrow Now is just a memory We'll make these memories in love We'll carry us through Love is gone
Peace and love to all. Thank you so much for joining this special edition of Storyteller with Talib. We look forward to seeing you right now at our virtual meet and greet. The information is in our social media feeds and you can also find it in our newsletter. If you'd like to learn more about Talib, there are two different websites that, you can, that are listed right here and you can check out more about who he is and his music. Thanks again for joining us.